Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. I just got back from an event called VRLA out in sunny Los Angeles. And this event focuses on virtual reality, of course, and all the major players in this tech are able to come out and show some of the software and the hardware they're working on. But this year I was sponsored by Intel to come out and check out some of the things they were showcasing off at their booth. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I saw and some of my experience that happened. So let's jump right into it. Now the first and major thing that they were focusing on at this event was their collaboration with the Smithsonian American an art museum. And so Intel set up their future classroom, which has some desks in there with VR setups with computers and the Oculus Rift. And this was way cooler than any desk that I've ever had as a kid going to school. So I was a little jealous that some of you kids out there are probably gonna be able to get this soon. But anyway, I was able to sit down with my fellow classmates, Linus and also Austin. You probably know them, but uh, we sat down and we attended a class where we were able to talk to people that were actually located in Washington, DC. And this particular virtual environment is made possible using Linden Lab new social VR platform, Sanzar. So Intel made this to allow people to be able to create virtual spaces. So you can recreate a meeting room or one of your favorite places that you ever visited, or you can totally create something new out of your imagination. And it has a lot of cool nifty tricks like spatial audio. So if you're sitting in a room, you'll be able to quickly identify who's talking to you just by their voice, because the audio is gonna be very fine tuned for that. So this technology is something that is really gonna help push VR and allow people to create places where they can invite people to come check out. And they showed off an exhibit called No Spectators, The Art of Burning Man. And Burning Man is a really cool thing that happens once a year out in the desert where people come out, have a great time. And a lot of people make cool artwork that they can show off that's very creative that they've been working on all year. And so the Smithsonian has some of this artwork and basically we are able in virtual reality to go and check out this and they were giving us information about all these different pieces. And so I was able to walk all around and on top of the artwork and also just lean in and get a very close up view of all the little details, and even Austin and Linus were admiring my outfit choice for the day as well. Hey, Mike, who are you? I'm right here. Me oh. me. Wow, that's quite the dress you've got on. <laughs> quite a dress. <laughs> yeah, it's warm out here in California. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're in like a romper, Mark. Oh, gosh. <laughs> But seriously, this is going to be a great tool for education where teachers can be able to transport the students in their classroom to places all around the world and they can learn and feel like they're actually there experiencing things. And I think this is something fantastic. It's going to be great for the future of education, but also too, to be able to make sure we can pass on things that we normally take for granted, just being able to walk into a museum and walk into certain places where place some places around the world, people just don't even have that opportunity. So VR education, I think it's going to be a great tool for people to use in the future. Now, after we left the classroom, you can say it was time for recess because Intel also has some cool things around the booth that you can be interacted with, like this one thing that me and Austin tried out called Birdly. And this allowed us to actually transform into a bird in virtual reality and fly around a city. And as you can see, Austin and myself are probably not the most graceful birds in the world, but I had a great time doing this because they had a fan in front of you to simulate the wind and you could flap to go faster and also to go higher and just moving your body was actually very comfortable and it was just really cool to do. Uh, and so you can see this would be great for like comic book uh, games where you have a superhero that can fly and also fight. That would be awesome. And another video game demo they had set up was for Creed. And I think this was one of the first times people were actually able to see this and interact with it. And you know, Creed is based off of the Rocky movies where Creed is going to be the son of Apollo Creed that Rocky faced against. But anyway, you're able to get in there and do some training and actually box against some, some enemies or opponents in there. And it actually looked really cool. People were getting a little workout, working up some sweat, uh, which is always good for us nerds that sit out there computers all day. And then the last thing I was able to do was a group activity called Virtual Room where myself, Austin, and Linus were able to get in there and solve out a puzzle. And we were in space and so we had to figure out what was going on. And basically we had different colored objects and we had to toss them to each other to make sure each one had the right one. And then we were able to unlock a bunch of cases and proceed through the puzzle. And so that was really cool. And this goes along in the theme of the Future Classroom where it's all about collaborating with other people and being in an experience or an environment with other people where you can actually interact and do things, learn, or also just have fun while playing the game. So overall, I would say my trip to virtual reality LA or VR LA was a very, very fun time because I had a great time hanging out with the people over at Intel, seeing some of the cool stuff at their booth. So if you wanna find out more information about everything that Intel is doing in the world of VR, head over to intel.com forward slash VR. That link will also be down below in my description box. And please, before you go, be sure to leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. And like always, I want to thank you for watching and I will catch you later. Peace.